Hey friends, this is the Mrs. Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead and today we're canning beans. Okay folks, we went out to pick beans and ended up picking beets. Say hi Angie. Hi. Uh, all our beets because I'm going to plant more. And this is what we got for beans today. We picked our cabbages because they were getting eaten alive. Now I'm going to take you through, for the new folks, how I set up for canning. This is my first big canning of the year, so my equipment had to be broken down and washed. Before you start canning, if you haven't canned in a year, or less than nine months, this is what you have to do. This has been, this is my tall canner. It has com been completely scrubbed down and every little nook and cranny and then rinsed with cold water. Even the trays have been scrubbed and that's got the recommended amount of water in it. And I'm gonna add a splash of white vinegar to keep my jars from clouding because I'm on a well. Here's my lid. There's the other tray that's been washed and scrubbed. I have taken this out, scrubbed it, and then soaked it in hot water to make it to make it more malleable because it's been sitting and drying out all, all winter long. I double checked, made sure that my spout is clear. I blew through it and it's tightened and in place. Here, yes, it doesn't look it, but I have scrubbed this pot too. This is my water that's going into my jars. It's gonna be heated up because I am hot packing my raw beans. This is my pickling salt. I always use pickling salt because there are no additives. Here's the required amount of lids, which I'm gonna add hot water to. Here's my rings. Here's my jars. All of my jars have been scrubbed, washed, and rinsed. Always check your jars, folks. I'm gonna see if I can find, if you can see this on camera. You can't see them very well, but there are dots right above my thumb in this jar. Can you see that right there at the tip of my finger? See my tip of my finger there? Those are air bubbles in the glass. I'm not gonna use this jar. Why? Because I have a feeling that's a fault and more apt to break in the canner. So this jar is no good for anything but dry goods. And here is my setup. I just need my funnel and my always, always rag, and we'll get started. Here are my beans. They were picked yesterday, snapped yesterday, and soaked overnight in cold water so I could get to them today. They've been strained. Alrighty, let's get out our measuring cup that we use to fill our jars with hot water. Set a jar on our pad. I miss you, Betty. All right. I'm gonna put a half a teaspoon of salt in the jar. We're going to fill our jar to one inch from the top with beans. Oh, I didn't snap some of these very well. They're really kind of big and bulky. Get our straw in there to debubble. Hot water with our measuring cup and we're going to fill this to one inch from the top with hot water. Now you can, add, you can add actually maybe an eighth of an inch more because once we debubble that water level will go down. And then always, always, always debubble with a wooden spoon handle, a plastic knife or a straw like I am doing. All right. Let's get out. I keep a jar on my counter with little bits of clean flannel that are soaked in vinegar. You can add water to that if you want. Put that on another jar. Always, always wipe your rims with the clean, damp paper towel, cloth, or what have you. And of course I am canning with four jars canning lids. Canning is easier with four jars. And the lid goes on and into the canner that goes. Now fingertip tight folks. That means as tight as you can get it with your fingertips. Don't use a tightening machine. Don't get your big old burly husband to tighten it. Tight 
as tight as you can with your fingertips. The reason we debubble is if you don't correctly debubble, what happens when you pressure can something? The air is pushed out of the jar first. But if there's air in the bottom of the jar, see the air wants to be pushed out of the top, but if there's air down inside the jar, that will be pushed up so fast it will push liquid out of the jar. So always, always debubble. Always wipe your rims with a clean, damp paper towel or clean, damp rag. And on goes our four jars canning lid. And in the canner that goes. hold 16 pints so we have 16 pints of beans in here let's get our lid on Alrighty. we're gonna put our lid on and as soon as this pops up and this is spouting a steady stream of steam we are going to vent the canner for 10 minutes we have a steady stream of steam. Our bobble is up. I am setting my timer for 10 minutes. Always vent the canner. It pushes the air out so you can create a proper vacuum when you put your weight on. Our timer has gone off. On goes the 10 pound weight until the first vigorous jiggle. Now, folks, when you clean your stuff, that includes soaking these. I soak these in vinegar and then and then uh, dunk them in boiling water so that it gets any iron or build up in there out. And here comes our first vigorous jiggle. There it is. And now we're going to turn this down to just between medium and maximum. All right, my timer has gone off. We are going to turn the canner off and let it cool naturally. Letting it cool naturally is part of the canning process. So please don't jiggle the weight. Don't soak it in cold water. Don't do anything. Let it cool down until you can touch the sides comfortably with your bare hands. Our canner is done. Now, I've already opened it, but it was cool to the touch. Always, even if it's cool, open it away from you in case you get a face full of steam. So here's our beans, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. I did, unfortunately, have one lid fail. Considering all the canning I've already done since I started with four jars, that's still better than anything I've had in the past. This is the Mrs. Wolfie from Our Half Acre Homestead saying, four jars lids, because canning is easier with four jars. And remember folks, if you're a home canner and you're not trying four jars canning lids, you are missing out. These are heavier than any other disposable lid on the market. They are a US company and if you order over $100, your shipping is free. Check in the description box below this video for a link to Four Jars Canning Lids and use the coupon code HALFACRE, all one word in capital letters, for 10% off. Check them out on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok for ideas and recipes. Four Jars Canning Lids, you can't go wrong.